Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some really good defense plays if you have a tall basketball team. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some really good defense plays that you can run if you have a taller basketball team or bigger basketball team, however which way you want to call it. So let's get down to the clipboard and I'll show you some of these basketball defense plays that you can run. Basically, here is the 1-2-2. Two, two. This is a really good defense if you have a tall team. We have two big players at the back. We have some not as big, maybe just as big, but more agile players at half court. And then we have our point guard up top. So basically, the, the goal behind this defense is for it to push that ball handler over to this side of the court. Now, these guys, if there's more than one player on the court, so let's say they pass the ball to the other side, these guys are not going to go past half court. They need to stay just behind half court and stay home. That way, they can cut off passes that are to the middle of the court or to the open areas up here. Now, if they were to switch, we need now player two to move over Three to obviously sort of move over and try and trap the player in that corner so that way they can't go back over the court. And then we're going to have player one recovering and moving him over to that corner. Now player two, because the ball is on this side, he needs to be covering the middle. We don't care what's happening over here. If he was to pass the ball back over here before he gets over half, then what we're going to do is now move player two over, player three over, and player one starts moving over to bring that ball into this corner on this side. That is exactly what you want. Now, another full court press defense I like to run with a taller team is the 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Obviously, I've put this on this play on my channel a few times before, but basically we have player one again directing each player, the player with the ball over to the sideline. Player four needs to stay past half, but we want him covering this area of the court, so we don't want any passes there. And then we have these two players here to make sure that the players get trapped in these corners that is our main goal here so if the ball was to move up we're going to hopefully trap him here now if he was to get this far and start passing the ball back because we want player two to stay home we don't want him to overplay and try and steal that ball i don't care if they i what we really want in my opinion is to keep the ball on this side of the court for a long time a long enough time to get a turnover I really don't want to be risky and have these three players go on this side of the court because then there could be a mismatch down here which is not a good thing so once this player gets the ball if he's gonna try and go up middle we need player one to cut him off if not we want player four to come off that's our last resort but we want player one to do the running to get to that player that way we can now force him back over to this side which will now result in a trap, and that's what we want. Now, if there's a trap on this side or the other, we want our players to come into this kind of a formation, these three players in this sort of a formation. That way, player four is cutting off the pass here, player three is cutting off the long pass here, and player five is cutting off the pass here. Now, if there's a player over in this corner, we want player five to move up on him and player three to move up here. Now, both of these defenses work really good with another type of zone defense which is my own 1-4 as well as which is called the unbeatable defense uh, the link is in the description if you want to read about that but the other great defense that this runs into is the 2-3 so let's move over to the half court and check out the 2-3 so as I showed before we had two players on the player here we have player 5 covering here now if they were to move out of this formation what we can just move down to we could have player five move to the middle and player four moving back out here that is an option for the two three or you can just have them sit down just like that and then player one and player two into the two three of course if there's a ball up top there's a double team and these guys move up just but this is the two three basically in the two three what we want is to protect the key so we have player one guarding this area three guarding here four in this case guarding here 
two guarding here and player five guarding out here. And what we're going to have is usually player five would be in the middle. They could switch. It's up to you as a coach. And because anytime there's a double, let's see if I can get a solid line. Apparently not. Um, anytime there's a double area, those are the overlapping areas. You will have your players coming out to double team that ball. If there's a ball in that corner, player four would move up here. Player three would be probably shadowing if there's a player down here. We don't want any corner open threes. Could move player four down as well. Just move, movements like this will make your defense work just perfectly. Now, another zone defense I like to run with a tall team is the 2-1-2. Two, two. We have two players up top, one in the middle, and two in the bottom. So how I like to run the 2-1-2 two, two is player 5 is actually guarding this area of the court, while we have players 3, 1, 2, and 4 guarding those zones. Now, why would I have player 5 moving this whole area, considering that he's usually our biggest player? The reason is is we can run a 2-3 zone defense, a 2-1-2, and a 3-2 all at the same time. So that is why this is my favorite. This is really going to cut off any opportunities teams have at the for the high low post or high low passes, which is what kills a defense. And this is also going to very nicely have a let's get a point guard on the court. By having a center on a point guard up top, you're going to disallow any kind of t high or any kind of shots. Plus, if he was to drive, that's a double team location. We have those two players. Player three be would be moving up so that there's nothing happening there. Player four would be moving in so there's nothing happening in the key. But by having player one drive on player five, that could be player one stepping in for a charge or for a double team, and by having a tall player, there be, would be no likely no passes going this way, and player one would be able to pick him up going in this direction. Player five would then move back down, and that would still be protecting the key. Player two would be moving up to protect this area of the court. This is why I personally like the 2-1-2, and that is how I run the 2-1-2. Now, I should also mention my unbeatable basketball defense book. The reason why I call it the unbeatable basketball defense book is because it's very good. It basically gives a double team anywhere below the free throw line. It doesn't even matter if you're out in the three-point line. You're getting a double team in all of these locations. You're even getting a double team up top on the elbows or the shoulders, whatever you want to call them. Anyways... Uh, the link is in the description for that book. It's single coverage up top and double teams down low. It works really well. I've got lots and lots of coaches loving that defense. It's something that I created a few years ago. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll, well, I'll see you guys again tomorrow because I post new videos every single day. Basketball players, are you looking to jump higher? If you are, there's a book in the description called The Jump Training Book that is going to help you just like it has helped many other players. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.